然今天那个各位朋友来参加台北巨塔的，我呃大家可以叫我 g a s t l i n g 那我是各活动的召集人。那今天我们很就是很荣幸可以请到三位那个 HTC 的 e v a n g e l i s t 他们是从美那个美国动漫过来的这个朋友。那他他们今天会和我们介绍这个 HTC 的 Open Sense SDK， 那还有相关的这个呃 Tablet 跟这个相关的东西。那呃，我们用热烈的掌声来欢迎三位讲者。Thank you. Hello everyone. I'm Darryl Levery. I'm a developer evangelist for HTC. And here with me is Lance. Uh, hi, I'm Lance Stanek. I'm also a developer evangelist for HTC. Uh, we're both from New York. So today we're going to do an overview of the OpenSense SDK. And if you, if you go to htcdev.com, you'll see that in the last month we released an SDK. Go ahead. So these, these slides are taken from a workshop we've been given in several cities in the U.S. And we are going to do that exclusive for this GTA. Um, and we're going to do an overview of the uh, stereoscopic 3D, and we're going to do uh, an overview of the Pen SDK. Um, there's, there's not really a time here to do a workshop, but we're going to go over a lot of uh, what you need to do for programming for the Pen API. Next slide. So uh, we did some introductions. I also want to uh, also acknowledge the GTUG uh, that I'm involved with in New York City GTUG. I co-organized that one. So I'm uh, very honored to be part of the Taipei GTUG. Thanks for inviting us. Thanks. Uh, and this is all about you, the developer. Uh, normally at this point of the slides, we introduce everyone in the workshop. But uh, at this point, we'll just continue. So this is what we're going to cover right now. Uh, but before I go into this, I just want to show the website. Because I, I know we just, you had described this uh, meeting to be an open, open test SDK overview. So in addition to uh, the pen SDK and the uh, and SDD SDK, we have a third component called the common controls, and I just want to quickly show that so that we, we, can, we can start with that. So the common controls, uh, again, the HTC uh, OpenSys SDK, this is just the first initial release. Uh, we will have additional controls in the future release. Uh, in this first release, we have a common control called Tab Plus, and Tab Plus allows you to have, in your own applications, the same look and feel that you see in some of the preloaded applications that come with Sense. And this is just uh, one example of, of how we're opening up the uh, Sense SDK, or Sense in general, to developers. So let me just go back, uh, I guess, to the slides. And you'll get the sample code for that control in the SDK, as well as documentation, on the website. So I'm quickly going to go, very quickly, and if you have questions, uh, we'll wait till the very end. Uh, stereoscopic 3D API overview. I'm just going to quickly go over uh, some of that. Next slide. And we'll, we'll just go through the, through the slides quickly. Next. So this is just to show you how the, uh, the display works uh, physically, how left and right views are different. Uh, due to the parallax barrier. Uh, next. So you have to uh, have specific power to describe to Yes, this is a glasses-free special uh, <coughs> barrier display, which programmatically you can turn on and off. So these are the, the 3D still image formats that are supported by the Evo 3D, JPS, MPO. Next, we have video formats that are supported. All these are standard formats. So they work across several devices, and 
You can also uh, record and play back on YouTube. Uh, on YouTube, you can use the red and cyan uh, anaglyphic glasses so that you can share your 3D creations to your friends uh, on any device. Next. And this essentially is the S3D API that the call that you make in your program to turn on and off the 3D effect. Um, so this is included in the SDK. And uh, next. Do we have, you have a 3D with us that we can pass around, maybe? I don't know if we have that available. Do switch back to the last slide. I'm sorry. Switch back to the last slide. Um, yeah, here we, we can see three 3D formats. Like a side-by-side -side, top bottom? And that's, that's correct. Those are the, which format do you submit to the The default format is the left-right format, side-by-side. Uh, side-by-side, yes. So these are some of the use cases, and these are some of the sample code that, that, that you can use that comes with the SDK to uh, illustrate this. There's uh, turning on and off images, 3D images in your programs, as well as video. And of course, using OpenGL and 3D games, uh, whether they're written in Java or native-based, you can apply the S3D effect uh, on your games. Next. And now we're going to move to the Pen SDK. And we're going to do this in more detail. So our, the focus is going to be more on the Pen SDK. Um, so we have some some de devices uh, utilizing the Pen that uh, we'll pass around, and you can, or if you have one, you can also uh, use the SDK to start programming. So the framework uh, is to provide the HTC specific applications like drawing capabilities, uh, drawing different textures. Uh, if you've played with the uh, device, you notice there's a notes application, there's a scribble app application as well. And those, you can actually replicate most, if not all, the functionality of those applications in your own application using the ACC Pen framework. Next. So there's six packages. Uh, these first three packages, uh, Java packages, uh, contain uh, most of the aspects of the painting engine, which is uh, manages all the drawings using stroke events and, and it manages the painting view and is associated viewport, which I'll get into detail in a bit. Uh, the remaining packages are, um, one is for managing the pen menu, uh, one is managing utilities of, uh, that are associated with the pen properties, and then one is the lower level support uh, for just handling pen events. Next. So we're going to do a quick uh, overview of the pen framework, uh, including the painting engine and how to use it and how to integrate the pen menu. So as I noted, as I pointed out in the packages, there are several components to the framework. Uh, there's the pen menu, allows you to select different pens um, that is used with the painting engine. Um, but I just want to point out there's several scenarios. Uh, you, can, you can provide your own painting framework uh, and use the pen menu, or you can use the painting engine and provide your own pen menu. Uh, or uh, lastly, you can just use uh, pen events at a low level and provide your own interface. <coughs> uh, next. So this is how the painting engine works. Uh, there's an HTC, HTC painting view, uh, which manages uh, groups of strokes. And each group will have any number of strokes. Um, and, and the reason for this is you want to be able to manage uh, playing back or, or redoing strokes individually uh, in groups uh, to better, more, efficient, more efficiently uh, manage different views, different uh, uh, groups of strokes uh, and uh, next and essentially this is how it's implemented there's an interface I painting view and I stroke notify painting view uh, these are implemented by the implementation class HTC painting view 
Uh, if you want to do your own painting, you can also implement these classes yourself. Uh, if you have your own painting class, and that way you can still use the pen menu uh, with your own drawing. Uh, but again, we provide a full framework for, for painting, managing the strokes. Uh, as you can see here, there's a, a viewport, so you can define a scrolling application, scrolling view, and just define how how to view into that HTC painting view. So you can. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, uh, you can rotate, and so forth. Uh, so like I mentioned here, the, uh, the interface that you have to uh, uh, implement if you want to do your own drawing uh, will provide uh, all the basic operations like drawing the strokes, drawing the different textures with the, with the strokes, uh, providing undo and redo capabilities, and likewise with the iStroke Notify painting, painting view, it provides all the callbacks such as when the stroke started, when it ended, and so on. Next. And so here's uh, the implementation that HTC provides for, for these uh, interfaces, and it's just a list of all the, uh, the functions that are available to you. So again, this is a summary of what HTC Painting uh, requires, uh, what it does for you. And I'm going to uh, move ahead to the next slide. Uh, one aspect, of course, is serialization. Uh, so this, we provide an abstract serialized DAO object, uh, data access object, so that you can more easily be able to save the load stroke data those are usually stored as byte arrays. And again, you can use any persistent mechanism to uh, serialize and deserialize. So this is absolutely requirements if you're going to use HTC painting views that you have to provide a DAO and you have to provide a viewport. So those are the two requirements. So this is what the viewport provides. Uh, you can implement uh, what view you're defining. So you can have an offset to the actual uh, coordinate system of the display. Uh, you, can, you can determine scaling, rotation, and so forth. And this is just examples of what, what is meant by uh, getting an offset to a particular part of your canvas. Uh, so this is how you define uh, both your X and Y offsets. Next. And likewise for scaling, uh, and the pivot X and pivot Y is, is where you're scaling from. Uh, so usually it's in the center if you, if you want to zoom in and out. Next. And the next module that's, that's, again, separate from HTC Painting is Pen Menu. And this allows you to show all the available pens, to show basically the palettes and for color, uh, size, and so forth. And it gives you the functionality of all the actions you can, you can provide, such as redo, undo, clear all, uh, and even set the ink capacity as well. Next slide. And this also manages key events. So for instance, uh, on the flyer, uh, we have two buttons. And we can, we can uh, basically programmatically 
uh, react to the fund uh, any way we want to, not just the default you're used to using the, the notes application, for instance, where you have highlighting or erase. You can redefine that those to whatever your application requires. And you can also uh, change the state of the pen menu, meaning you can hide and, and show it whenever you want to programmatically. Next. We also uh, have a way a mechanism so you can include your application uh, in the pen app launcher. 